We have here the online magnets beast, which we're just going to put through its paces and see what it what's capable of lift, lifting. We've got two very heavy profiles on the floor and uh, an overhead crane, so we're just going to see now what, what it's capable of, see if it'll lift these two profiles. Unfortunately, we've still got the rope attached to this. Uh, I think we've just about got the hook through there. What I'm going to do, I'm going to lift the end of this. Now these are really heavy pieces of steel. There's as much as I can do to lift this up, this is super heavy. You struggle to lift that on your own. Can you lower the crane down, Josh? What? What's the Anyone who does not believe that, that is swinging and it is off the floor. Get a shot underneath. There is definitely airspace. It's done well clear. How much would you say they weighed up? Big one here. I think you'd agree that that was a pretty impressive test. Uh, being as this is pulling sideways on the magnet, not vertically, if, the, if you've got attachment points on top of the magnet, it would pull at its full capacity, but uh, I think it's, it's actually doing a very good job to say that it's pulling sideways. So how big are these then, Dad? These are about 31 inches across. That's quite big, isn't it? Yeah, 31 inches from there to there. 45 inches. And thick? How thick are they? An inch thick. They're, uh, yeah, they're an inch. One inch thick. Very heavy. We're just looking for something a bit bigger now. Uh, got this here. This juice.
now then, Dad. How heavy would you say that is? <laughs> a lot heavier than you can lift. That's really heavy. No problem. Off the floor. Off the deck. Literally. Dangling in midair. No problem. What else is there? I want one. So how heavy would you say that is, Dad? It's seriously, I don't have a clue. Well, it's that heavy we've had to get the forklift. It's, you'd never pick it up on your own. We've got this big heavy piece of metal, we're just going to see if this is going to drag it with a forklift, so clip it on and have a go. will be fun. Oh, it's going. Go on, Dad, put your foot down. As you can see, it isn't even slipping off at that. You can see the dirt trail that it's making, so it's quite heavy. This is a piece of four inch, four inch bar. It's four inches square, four inch by four inch square bar. Haven't a clue what it weighs, but I can tell you now, it's as much as I can lift one end off the ground. Yeah. That is really heavy. Thank God you've got steel boots on. How much effort it takes to get back, back where it came from. Heavy. Yeah. Right, what we're going to do now is try and uh, simulate a situation where you're going to drag this like you would pulling it across the riverbed. So, we're going to this on now. go not a problem I'm gonna measure this now and I'll just give you an idea of just how big it is 
You can't move it by hand, it's a forklift job. This is approximately just over six feet long. And the width that way is three and a half, nearly four feet. Four feet. And how thick? And this is a good inch thick. Yeah. One inch. 25 mil. And this weighs. I can just get it off the ground. <coughs> Not very easily though. So, so we've put the magnets through its paces this afternoon just to see see what it's capable of. It's uh, it's amazing. It's unbelievable. So we'll just have to see how we get on with it. If you're interested in one of these, they're quite expensive, but uh, well worth it. Well worth it in my opinion. The big benefit of using these big heavy magnets is when you're fishing the canals, there's usually about uh, three or four feet of silt, uh, and often a smaller magnet will just skip over the top of that. The weight of this, I think it's four kilos, is it? Three, four kilos? Three or four, yeah. Don't, don't quote me on the weight, but it, I should say that's three or four kilos. The weight of this sinks deep, deep into the mud, and that's where you're finding all the stuff uh, below where the dredges have uh, been dredging. So, uh, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this short video of us putting the online magnets beast through its paces. Uh, we've done the lift test and we've done the drag test with this, with the forklift, uh, and it performed excellent. I can't fault this magnet. It can certainly pull more than you can, uh, you can pull or, or lift. So get your orders in quick because they're selling like hotcakes. These, they're, uh, they're selling really fast. So if you want one, get onto Online Magnets site and uh, put your order in. And don't forget, if you order anything from Online Magnets, such as The Beast or any other magnet or rope on their site, use code MAG10, that's M-A-G-10, to get 10% off anything on their website. You'll also get a certificate of authenticity. A lot of these uh, are being sold as copies now, uh, imports from China, and believe me, they're nowhere near as good as the original. So take it from me, if you want to, spend all that money on buying one of these you might as well buy the, the right one thanks for watching <laughs>